I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Psalms, chapter 102, and let's focus on verses 18 through 28. This will be written for the generation to come, that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord. For he looked down from the height of his sanctuary. From heaven the Lord viewed the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to release those appointed to death, to declare the name of the Lord in Zion, and his praise in Jerusalem when the peoples are gathered together, and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. He weakened my strength in the way. He shortened my days, and I said, O my God, do not take me away in the midst of my days. Your years are throughout all generations. Of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will endure. Yes, they will all grow old like a garment. Like a cloak you will change them, and they will be changed. But you are the same, and your years will have no end. The children of your servants will continue, and their descendants will be established before you. Now, the older that I get, the less that I care about establishing a name for myself. I've been a rock star before. I'm not just saying that in general. I literally was in the music business, and I did well. And it's not that I I don't want to leave a legacy. It's just the legacy that I want to leave has more to do with preparing the next generation to live for the Lord and less to do with enshrining my accomplishments. After all, if we can do all things through the Messiah who strengthens us, well, then the emphasis should be less on all things that we do and more on the Messiah who enables the doing. And the writer of Psalm 102 is afflicted and unsure about his personal future. But toward halfway point of the psalm, we learn that his concern has to do with his anxiety over the next generation, less about himself, more about them. Will he be allowed to live so that he can assure the next generation carries on faithfully? Will the kingdom be lost if he dies? It's a legitimate concern. It's rooted in Israel's history. Consider this from Judges chapter 2, verse 10. When all that generation had been gathered to their fathers, that is the generation of Joshua, another generation arose after them, listen, who did not know the Lord, nor the work which he had done for Israel. What about 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 1? Now the boy Samuel ministered to the Lord before Eli, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days, and there was no widespread revelation. We await the day when all men everywhere will seek God's word and live by it. Hebrews chapter 8, verses 7 through 11, For if that first covenant had been faultless, then no place would have been sought for a second covenant. Because finding fault with them, he says, that is the Lord says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt. Because they did not continue in my covenant, and I disregarded them, says the Lord. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel, After those days, says the Lord, I will put my laws in their mind and write them on their hearts. I will be their God and they shall be my people. None of them shall teach his neighbor, saying no, uh, nor none his brother, saying no, the Lord, for they shall all know me from the least of them to the greatest of them. That's exactly what we're trying to accomplish here by God's will and by God's power with Groundworks Ministries, get people into the Word of God so nobody has to go anywhere to learn the Bible, so that they all know it, from the least of them to the greatest of them, from from a guy that didn't graduate grade school to the guy who has multiple PhDs. They both know the Lord, and that's possible. If people would surrender to the gospel and be filled with the Holy Spirit, And then the Spirit of God could teach us the Word. Groundworks Ministry sets up daily appointments with people and the Holy Spirit in the Word of the Lord, so that no one will say, Know the Lord, for they will all know Him from the least to the greatest. 
Will you help us get the word out? I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. You know, Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And we need your monthly support now more than ever. What the Lord has put into our hearts to accomplish cannot simply be accomplished with meager support. It's going to take a strong organization, and that's where you come in. Donating is secure, and it's easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. You know, another way to help is just tell people about us. Tell them about Groundworks Ministries. Share these podcasts with friends and family and on your social media. And of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com.